Hello, this is Nick from Pressman Auto. We're gonna do a little bit of an audio test of our 2009 3500. So, you yeah, asked to just hear a little bit in the engine. And so, of course, being a big old diesel, it's gonna be a little loud, but I'm gonna put the phone around here so you can hear it out um, and get a, good, get a good ear out for it, I guess. So, so we're gonna let that continue to warm up for a little bit and I'll probably grab you another video with the other stuff you're looking at. But for this, we will still walk around and get a good idea of just kind of all around the vehicle, make sure everything's good to go out there. So um, like we kind of already talked about, there are a couple cosmetic things up here at the front, nothing really major. I mean, no like big dents or anything, more just rock chipping and what, whatnot. But for a 2009, not bad. So. Let's go around. Tires on here, you still got loads of life left in those, so that's nice. All right, this down here, you have a couple chips, but most of this is just dirt. There you go. Most of this is just dirt. There's a couple chips in there, but not bad. So other than that, you got a couple things here and there. So no big dents, no nothing really major. Oh, more just cosmetic things here and there. Some small stuff up there. So your bed, you got your gooseneck, weather guard, all that jazz. So as far as dents go, you got one right here. It's about as bad as it gets. It's It just looks like a door hit it. And then another one here. Probably just someone parked next to him a little close, but nothing wild. As far as the interior goes, it's in very good condition. It's got a couple smaller things here and there, but all in all, pretty solid. So the odometer is good. I don't know what was up with the pictures online, but it is working just fine. So this one needs an oil change, but other than that, everything looks super solid. Double check a couple things real quick, make sure the audio's working. Nice. AC's working. Let's turn it up a little bit. Very cool, so that's working great. I'll turn that off. Other than that, it's pretty standard features. You have some that keeps actual tabs on your engine temp, which is kind of cool. So it's an add-on, looks like it was aftermarket, but it's fun to have. You got your four-wheel drive, and on and on and on. But I'll get the other video of um, the other thing you asked for in just a sec. I'm gonna let the engine cool or heat up for a little minute so we can get a good, good visual of that. But for now, this is your new 3500.